There is a chance that the next few days will see a huge change in the financial world, with the US Federal Reserve possibly taking control of XRP and the RIP Planet system. This move could mean that people can't buy XRP from stores and that Ripple Labs technology is used to replace the current banking system. Ripple's latest actions, especially their huge buyback of XRP, show how quickly things are changing. And a report from just yesterday said that Ripple Labs has started to buy back almost 1 billion XRP from the market. What Ripple is doing here is very important and shows that they are committed to making XRP stronger. In the next part of our movie, I'll talk about the price that people think the US Federal Reserve might be willing to buy back XRP. There. There's proof that this information is correct, which backs up these claims. Stay tuned as we go into more detail about this new development that could have a huge impact on cryptocurrency and global banking. Hello, Moneyside family. This is your reliable source for all things XRP. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and notifications button before we dive to join our group. Also, once we reach 60,000 followers, we'll be giving away a huge amount of XRP. There are only three easy steps you need to take to put in your bid. Make sure you do all of those things. Write money side in the comments to make sure you get a spot. The US Federal Reserve's plan to possibly own XRP and work with other companies, this story has gotten a lot of attention, especially since Ripple is working harder to buy back XRP, which is making it harder to find on coin exchanges. A lot of people see the move as a clear sign of a big change in the market. Analysts from Blood or Crip say it could be a strong sign for XRP's value to go up immediately. It's been about 24 hours since Ripple Labs announced their plan to buy back almost 1 billion XRP from the circulation supply. This has led to more rumors that the Federal Reserve and Ripple Labs might work together. However, this news might not be a surprise to people who have been closely watching what's been going on. The Federal Reserve has said in the past that it is interested in this area. There are even stories, including one from Google, that talk about how the Federal Reserve wants to use Ripple's XRP as a way to send money around the world. As part of their bigger plan, Ripple also wants to buy back XRP through a scheme called Ripple Buyback. The goal seems to be to move XRP from individual users to banks and institutional investors, making it more useful and valuable to big players in the financial world. These moves by Ripple and the possibility that the Federal Reserve will get involved are changing the way things look for XRP. The connection between the Federal Reserve and Ripple Labs has also been getting more attention, which points to a big agreement. Because these two groups are closely connected, it's possible that XRP will become even more a part of the mainstream banking system in the future. A headline on a story that said Federal Reserve works with Ripple XRP for integration suggests that XRP could go as high as $10,000. This news was a turning point. It sent me down a rabbit hole of study where I found the buyback theory, an interesting idea. This idea, which is one of the most interesting in the world of crypto right now, fits perfectly with what is happening now. The managing head of Val Hill Capital has ask the Federal Reserve to think about buying back XRP at an unbelievable $35,000 per token. Val Hill's buyback idea goes even further than that, which is a bold claim. It says that governments should buy back all of the XRP that individual buyers have bought at a set price. As Van Lee of Val Hill Capital put it, this price is an unbelievable $37,500 per coin. This extremely high value is found by dividing the total amount of money in the world by the total amount of XRP assets available. At this moment, the price of XRP is $0.60. This idea, on the other hand, says that XRP is worth more than $35,000. We now think it will reach around $50,000. This is a big jump that shows how XRP's promise in the financial world is becoming more and more clear. Now, let's switch topics and talk about BNB.win our video provider today. This platform gives you a great chance to stake your coins and make a lot of money. Look at this. They offer a huge 333% of PR. Those numbers are really impressive. Products from Binance, simple and easy regulations, and the creative founder of Docs are among the things. They sell. BNB.win is also fully integrated with the environment and follows all the rules, which guarantees a safe experience. At 333% per year, the returns are truly amazing. And here's a deal that only my fans can get. If you use my unique code EXTRA315 when you sign up, that rate will go up to 353% instead of 333%. Make sure you don't miss this chance. The link and code are in the description of the movie. Besides the set rate, there is also a chance to win extra prizes. It's easy to sign up. On their site, just click on sign and enter your email address and password. You can start to stake as soon as. You're in. Your payments are easy to understand. Just send the BNB to the address given. Since everything is done automatically, you'll see the changes right away. A clip that goes into more detail about this idea and what it means for XRP and its investors will be shown next in this part of our video.
The price range of $50,000 to $60,000 for XRP is interesting, especially since it fits with reports from a number of reliable news sites. Forbes is a well-known source for accurate business news. They once wrote an article saying that XRP could be the new Bitcoin and could hit $59,472,500. This story was quickly taken down after it was posted, but it caused a lot of people to wonder why it was posted, especially since Microsoft's Bing, Google's Bard, and ChatGPT all agreed with it. The fact that the number $59,472 is exact and not a round number like $60,000 makes it even more interesting, and it fits with what many top experts have said. According to these experts, XRP could hit or even go above $60,000, which would make it worth more than Bitcoin. There's more to the story, though, we can see from. The numbers that the SP is going to help the derivatives market handle more than $1.2 quadrillion, which means that the price of XRP would have to be around $10,000. Ripple recently joined the International Swaps and Swaps Association as a way to help the swaps market handle these huge amounts of business. They will be working with big banks like JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, BlackRock, and others. But it's possible that even these numbers are too low. Statistics show that more than 19 central banks have bought XRP, which is more proof that its value could go through the roof. Central. Banks around the world have bought an amazing 9.4 billion euros worth of XRP. This is only the tip of the iceberg, though. Right now, about 30 countries want to build their own digital currencies for their central banks right on top of the XRP system. Out of the 45 countries that were looked at, 19 central banks have already put money into XRP. This means that the XRP system could be used around the world in the future. Imagine how many trades could happen. Each country could handle over $1.2 quadrillion a month through the XRP ledger. That's now true for 20, 30, or even 45 countries. The numbers are bigger than what we've seen or talked about before, and they are all being processed through the XRP system. This situation may seem impossible, but it's based on real events. The Federal Reserve is already in talks with Ripple Labs to help with and buy back XRP. The main reason for this is to get ahead of the BRICS countries, which are China, Russia, India, and South Africa. The U.S. doesn't want to lose to these other countries in the bidding process, so they are actively working with the Ripple system, which is known for being cost-effective, decentralized, and private. It's important to note that most of the BRICS countries are already official partners with Ripple Labs. This shows how quickly they want to use the Ripplenet system and the XRP currency. The Federal Reserve's similar moves show that XRP is a better technology and that people want it. The value of XRP needs to go up because more people want it and it's becoming more important in the world financial system. The first steps of these buybacks are already being seen. Going forward, I expect to see more buybacks and not just by Ripple. I expect to see a lot of other financial companies doing the same thing, which is to get more XRP, do not forget that I am not a professional financial advisor. The information in these movies is only meant to be entertaining. Before making any financial decisions, I always tell my viewers to do their own study and talk to professionals. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to hit the follow button and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, make sure the alerts are on so you know right away when I post something new. In the next movie, I can't wait to catch up with you. Be careful. Hmm.